Alright farmers, welcome back to Ravenport. Now after the last episode and our, let's face it, brilliant, brilliant shenanigans with the snow blower and the cedar on the back, that worked a treat, that really did. Now we need to move on because obviously it's now April and according to the crop calendar, yeah if we're going to do sunflowers you need to get them, you need to get them in the ground now. We've still got a load of snow, so... Actually, can I do sunflowers for that? I don't think I can. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right, so it's on the back. Yeah, no, barley, oats, canola, soybean. Oh, no, I haven't got a planter. It's just a cedar. All right, that, that's... Uh, that maybe changes things a little, I must admit. Now, we've already got a load of soybeans in. So, we can't do wheat. We can't do barley. We can't do canola. I think we're only left with the option of oats right okay uh now obviously the fields that are cultivated well that field's cultivated behind us and the others aren't they're plowed but we can put the seed straight in the ground but we're going to need to do it right now if we're gonna if we're gonna be getting on with things we need to do it sort of like today otherwise yeah we're uh we're gonna be out of luck altogether so I'm going to get some seed out of here. And we can get cracking then. We can just carry on with the whole... <laughs> really? Oh, just as I'm about to get ready to put it in with the snow blower cedar operation. Oh, the snow disappears. Well, that would always happen though, wouldn't it? But at least, at least it's give us something a little, a little bit better to be dealing with. I mean, we've got the seeds on the go there. So we've got two bags. That does mean I can sort of cultivate and do the seed as well. Ooh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to grab my cultivator. We're going to get it done properly. We've only got two fields to cultivate, so we'll get that done first, and I'll see you back here.
with that last little bit done, I'm thinking, yeah, we want to put some seed in the ground, we want to get the oats on the go, but the wheat field, yeah, that's already looking very bushy. Now, I do need to get some fertilizer down, and if I put oats in the field now, well, right now, it's going to be even worse for me to see where I've been on the wheat field specifically anyway so I'm thinking we put some fertilizer down on everything at least that's one dose done and then we'll put the seed in and then if we've got enough time we can then put some more fertilizer down afterwards that's the plan anyway saying that I've got any fertilizer <laughs> I'm just making all these plans I'm not even sure I've got the amount of stuff to do it so bales no, we don't want bales, don't want seeds. Seeds again. Ah, there we are, liquid fertiliser. Oh, I've only got... Ah, there we are, 2,000 litres in that one. So we'll pull that out. We'll also pull that out. Oh, we should be all right. I, I reckon I've got enough there for at least one load going around all the fields. So I'm going to get cracking with that. And then if we've got enough time, hopefully... We'll get the oats in the ground. If not, we may have to go for soybeans again. But you know, this fertilising malarkey should happen pretty quickly. All right, we'll see how we get on.
so that's one dose of fertilizer done on all of the fields to be fair this field i mean yeah i know i plowed it out and we made it a little bit bigger it's now huge it, it is absolutely huge so what i'm thinking of maybe going triple crop so obviously it's five past one now i need to get the oats in the ground today for some of the fields i'm not sure i'm going to get all three of these fields done and ready for another round of fertilizing before yeah before i need to go for me tea so i'm thinking of doing these two fields right by the farm here as oats and then on the big field we're going to do soybeans on there again i mean i know i've still got some in the silo that does need to be sold off i mean to be fair we could keep hold of that and then sell it off you know a little bit later once this new harvest is ready mm, that might be a plan actually might be a plan indeed right let's get this field up then and we'll get the oats done and fertilized and then we'll see what the time is
so that's it. The oat fields are done. I mean, it's seeded, it's double fertilised. Just double, let me double check the map actually. Yeah, double fertilised on there, double fertilised on there. Obviously, that one, hmm, that, that's the, the bit of the field that we ploughed out and to connect it. Although, saying that, apart from a couple of patches on field 23, that's double fertilised as well. Mm, I mean, I haven't got time to put oats in the field now. I mean, it's like nearly four o'clock. I'm having my tea at five. Yeah, if I'm late, the missus is going to go mad. So I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll yeah, we're going to triple crop it with that. We're going to triple crop in it. Oh, but a triple cropping. Why not? Now, before we go, just park that there like that. Obviously, all these things that we've got on the go, I do need to keep track of when we need to sell the stuff off. So... Let's be having a little look. So we've got the wheat. Yeah, well, I think we're going to keep hold of that because we've got some more wheat coming. I mean, soybeans, best price for that is June. I mean, we're April now. So not next month, the month after. Obviously, the... Oh, about the milk. When can we sell the milk? Milk's January. Sure, we're going to keep for the cows anyway. What else have we got on the go? Well, fabric, fabric. Right, where's the fabric? There we are. So that's... It's now. Hmm. We've only got one pallet because this old clothing situation over here, it's, it's, let, let, let's face it, it's not working out. So I'm going to get rid of that, I reckon, because yeah, there's no point in having it there. It's just taking up space. So if it's not working, you might as well get rid of it. Right, so come on, menu, when you're ready. There we are. Right, so if we do that, we'll sell that off. Yes, I mean, we'll get like two and a half grand back. So we're not getting all our money back, but we are getting some. Now that there, it's April and it should be selling now. One pallet. Actually, where is the best price for it? Let's have a little look. It's the best price. Uh, Water Tower sale point. Now, it's just down the road. No, I think, I think we'll keep it. I think we'll keep it until till next time round, till next April, yeah. Well, at least at least we've got rid of that one production, Jane. That's not really working. <laughs> well, let, let's face it. Time has made us go down the triple cropping route. But we're done for the day. Oh, I'm going to go for a sit down. So if you enjoyed this episode, why not go and treat yourself to some Andy's Farm merch? Link in the description below. And whilst you're down there, why not hit the join button? Come join us on Andy's Farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.